Hi, this is Kai from Kikai Craft, and I think you'll also be seeing a little bit of my Maya. She is one of my cats. Um, and today we're just going to do a pseudo unboxing. I say pseudo because I've unboxed this before. I've set it up, but in the spirit of, hey, my, hey, Frey. Um, but I decided in the true spirit of going through the journey with me, I thought I'd show you how I went through the thought process and I um, sort of unboxed and set it up for you. So this is a traveler's notebook in passport size. Now I've been using journals for quite some time. I've moved away from um, the leather, pseudo leather little journals and have progressed to using A5 notebooks. But now that I am using the fountain pen, I thought it would be so pretty to go back and using and use uh, journals to go back to using journals again. So I got myself the Traveler's Notebook. There are a few colors available. There is a black, there's a brown, there's a camel, there's an olive, and there are a few special editions. Um, I thought I'd just go a bit basic. And so I was kind of thinking, should I get a blue or should I get a brown or a camel? And then I found this shop that sold it really affordable price. By the way, if you are in Jakarta and you're wondering where do I get my traveler's notebook, I cannot recommend this shop enough. One of the best shops in Tokopedia for everything traveler's notebook. The name of the shop is Things I Love and the person who is behind that shop is just very sweet and very helpful. Okay, so I got this traveler's notebook in camel from her. I was sort of debating, should I get a blue? Because I love my blues. Should I get a camel? Because I love my browns. Um, eventually I decided, you know what? I want to go a bit old school with this. And I decided to get myself a camel. So this is how the box um, looks like when you, uh, when you finally have your uh, traveler's notebook. And um, it comes with this elastic. And uh, yeah, by the way, as I go through this, I'll also be going through a few hacks that I've um, that I've been using to sort of keep everything organized. Okay, so it comes in the, with this band, and when you open it up, okay, it just comes like this. Now, it doesn't come with these Velcro tabs. I added that myself because I wanted to have a place where I could put all the extra notebooks. Um, without having it just everywhere and I don't really have a lot of space to keep my stationary stuff now when you open it it'll come in oh sorry this will come in plastic and then when you open it you'll see this little bag and when you open this bag I'll just put that away for a second when you open this bag which by the way is very um, sweet very whimsical looking you will find in it oops okay all right, you will find in it your traveler's notebook, all right? And um, with an elastic, so you wanna open that up. And with your traveler's notebook, you will find a very cute little tag that looks like this. It'll also come with an extra elastic for this. Um, and it will come with just a bit of literature about the place now this is what i was talking about when i said i want a place to put all of these in um and i really like this so i kind of know if i got everything that i should not that i was doubting it this thing was so sealed again good job things i love for this um so you're supposed to get a cotton bag a leather cover um a notebook refill in blank and a spare rubber band this camel one comes with a green extra elastic, just like what you see here. Okay, and so it comes with a little bit of how you should take care of your uh, traveler's notebook and um, of course a little tag. So this, I will just put it aside the first time I got it and then I thought, you know what? I wanna keep these because I was thinking of uh, getting a blotter paper too. I read up a bit on that and as I was putting it away I was a bit bothered by this and I thought you know what I could use that um, as an uh, extra elastic so I wanted to put it away and of course I couldn't 
um, shut it. And so I decided to get myself some of these um, Velcro tabs. And so now it just holds pretty nice. Okay, so now in fact, I have two extra elastics that came with the pack. Um, so you'll see I have used it a bit for my swatch book. Um, so it comes with this maroon uh, refill and the uh, pages are blank. It will look like this when you first get it. Now I have this, I'm not pretty, I'm not really sure where I got it. It came with one of the refills. I think it came with a plastic zipper refill, but uh, I'm not very sure. I decided to just put it here as a sort of a blotter uh, paper so that when I write, it sort of protects it and it also adds a certain stiffness. Now, a few initial impressions on this. First off, um, it was a little smaller than I expected it to, but because um, it always looked a little big in the hands of the people who were reviewing it. But here's the thing. I want you to uh, sort of figure out if you really want it. What you can do is literally get your passport. It will be the same size, okay? Roughly the same size. Um, and so that will help you decide if you want it this small. Um, the other alternative would be to get the regular size, but the regular size is about the same width and it's a little longer. And I'm not really comfortable with um, something that looks like that. Uh, I also wanted something that was easy to carry around. And so I just decided to get this. Um, again, it was a little smaller than I thought. So if you are thinking of getting one, and you don't know exactly how big it is because um, even if I show you some sort of a size uh, comparison, it's uh, very different when you finally get it. So it's about the size of your passport, true to its name. Okay, so uh, when I got this, I also thought, well, um, I should get some refills to go with it. I need to know like exactly how I wanna use it. So the idea was, to replace my bullet journal. Now I'm gonna put this aside as well. Uh, I eventually use this to put my refills in to sort of just make it just a bit more compact. So I'm gonna put that aside too. Okay, so when I was thinking of exactly which refills to get, when I ordered this, I went ahead and I got me a pouch. So this is uh, called the refill and zipper case. Mm, and of course, I also got it from uh, things, uh, things I Love. Okay, um, this traveler's notebook costs uh, 693,000 rupiah, which translates to about 45 US. And this zipper case costs about 85,000 rupiah. That would translate to about $5 and a half. Um, okay, so when you do get this, of course, it comes with a plastic with a little uh, sticker. Um, and it comes with this bit of literature. Okay, so again, I'll put that aside. Uh, I'm keeping this because I thought maybe I can use it as some sort of a blotter paper when I need one. Okay, and this is how it looks now. I've already put in some of the stickers and post-its that I'd like to keep with me. Um, some people, when they put it in, they put it in this way, right? So this zipper pouch is in front and this part is in the back, but I thought I'd like to see some pictures um, or some, some yeah, some pictures. Um, and I didn't really want to see this mess, so I thought I'd put this in the back. So uh, the way for you to put it in is that um, these notebooks come with, oh yeah, it comes with this nice little um, bookmark. These notebooks come with this elastic. Okay, and this is where you, um, this is what you use to anchor everything. So you slide things out nice and careful. Um, so I wanted this at the back, but I'm actually thinking maybe I want it somewhere here now, somewhere at the beginning. I'm still quite unsure, but let me just set it up the way it was set up and then I'll just make my decision later. So you just wanna be a little careful when you do this because if you're anything like me, I don't really like too many crinkles, at least not in the beginning. So make sure it's sort of like fits and just hooks up in that little notch. Okay, and in this one too. Okay, so I basically have that part. And again, I wanted to put some pictures here for the um, 
photography enthusiasts, I've already tried this with the Polaroid Go um, and it works perfectly fine. Okay, now in the notebook itself, in the journal itself, since I'm into bullet journaling, I really like writing notes. Um, I didn't think the plain one would work for my notes. I needed just a bit more structure. So um, I decided to uh, go ahead and um, get a few pens. Oh yeah, by the way, when I did get this set, before I show you the other refills, things, uh, I also bought this from Things I Love. I thought I'd need it and I did. It's the connecting rubber band uh, for all the notebooks. Um, even if I didn't really know what refill I wanted yet, I at least wanted to have the bands and I got it from her. Um, and also uh, with this, she gave me a nice little extra band. So that's super cute. So now I have three bands for my uh, traveler's notebook. That was sweet. So I have an extra brown one. I have a nice mustard looking color one and I have this green one. Okay, let me put that aside too. Okay, so um, uh, so I knew that I couldn't be, I, I couldn't use this for my writing. I needed a bit of structure. And so I went ahead and I looked for a grid refill. Now she didn't have that in stock, so I had to kind of look for the grid, grid refill and I found it in another Tokopedia shop. So let me just show that to you. This is how it looks. It has a green cover. I really like the colors that they use. It's a bit neutral, a bit forestry, um, sort foresty sort of color. Okay, so this is the grid refill in green. I got two. I got this from a shop, also from Tokopedia, which is a bit like an online mall sort of thing here in Indonesia, really good service most of the time. Um, so this shop though, really, really good service too. The name of the shop is olivetreeshop.id. She has a few traveler's notebook um, uh, accessories and refills. And so she had this in stock. So I thought I'd go ahead and buy two. I've always loved using grid paper. And so I went ahead and I got this. Now, since it was a bit tricky to find it, I thought, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy two and I will be using it for my um, for my everyday carry. Um, oh yeah, just a short note. Sometimes you'll see in YouTube videos, you'll see people talking about their EDCs. EDC basically means everyday carry, which is basically the notebook that you carry around with you. Okay, so again, I have this nice pretty paper. Again, I'm putting that aside. I'm a bit of a hoarder that way. I have an extra notebook. So I'm going to put this away. Oh yeah, if Olive Tree Shop sells these for about um, 72,000 rupiah, which translates to maybe five US if I'm not mistaken. I also bought, um, if I can get it now, yeah. I also got this Traveler's Notebook watercolor paper refill from her. Um, I thought it'd be just interesting to have and I couldn't find it in other shops um, I realized later when I opened it, the paper was a bit too thick for me, but I think people who like to play a little with their inks, uh, maybe watercolor on the go, I think this is perfect. So this watercolor refill from the Olive Tree Shop costs about um, $5. So it's also a good buy. By the way, I bought all of my things. I'm not getting anything from the shops. I'm only sharing um, the shop names with you because if you're in Jakarta or Indonesia, you might be looking for these items and I thought this might be helpful for you. Okay, so um, I've decided that this is also part of my journal. So I thought I would put it here, okay? All right, so I have a few of the notebooks that I wanted. Um, and then I thought at some point, because I watch a lot of YouTube, I thought at some point, um, I think I'd like to have an underlay as well. Um, an underlay for those of you who are a bit confused. So it looks like this. These are from the Traveler's uh, Notebook Special Editions. Um, 
This is from 2021 collection. That's when they had books. Oh, that's when we were all home and they thought, okay, so people won't be able to travel, but maybe they can travel with their mind through books. So they had that. That was a very thoughtful um, idea from them. Um, it was a bit tricky to find these underlays, but I finally found it in a shop called Toko Pai. It's based off Become Baru, which means it's a little bit far from Jakarta where I stay. Um, she sold um, this particular one. Sorry, it's a bit cold here. Um, she sold the 2021 for about $5.50 and she sold, this is the one for the coming year, 2023 Traveler's Cafe. Um, so she sold this for about, um, hmm, Tokopai, I think about uh, $6, right? So there's a slight difference in prices, but that's fine. So I got these two off of her. She was very nice. She also sent me a bunch of stickers when I got this. Um, and some of those uh, stickers are in this pack. Really nice. Okay, so um, these are really good because on the other side, you have some sort of ruler. And that really helped me a lot when I was setting up my ink swatches book. So that's really nice. And I thought that if I were ever not able to find a grid notebook, I could use the back part to sort of help me with my writing. Okay, so these two are also in my notebook. Now, I was thinking about this. Do I really need some sort of a monthly planner and all of that? And I usually don't because what I usually do is that I write um, my things to do here and I sort of tick them off as I go. And then I write my uh, thoughts down, some plans uh, in between. Um, so that's the sort of system that I have with my bullet journal and I was thinking I don't really need a monthly planner but then I started this channel and so um, I was thinking where do I write the dates because I do have things that I want to post things that I want to share with all of you and um, this one if I did that it just didn't have enough lines for the for the month and um and I didn't want to like just look at every page and it was just a little messy for me. So I decided I think I do need a monthly planner. I was thinking of either getting a weekly one or a monthly one. But the weekly one just had too much space for me and I won't be really using that for, for that. So I decided because I'll be basically using it for this. Um, so I did a look around and finally I found it in um, Things I Love Again and the girl who manages that shop is just super nice. So she and I have uh, talked, oh I got the weekly one, she and I talked and uh, decided to get this. Did I really want the weekly one? Okay, let's open it up together. Now this one is a true unboxing because I never really, uh, I've, I haven't opened it yet. Okay, so here we go. Let's take it out. Oh, it's a two notebook thing. Yep. Nice color again. Comes with a Traveler's Notebook 2023 guide. And, ooh, nice. It comes with some stickers. I've been thinking of getting stickers. Okay, um, and when you open it up, Okay, so, oh, this is the July, December, so this would be the June, oh, sorry, the January, June. Yep. So, you have the months, so you have 2023 and 2024, and then, oh, I love these pages, because this is where I plan to write really quick notes about the different days that I really want to uh, highlight. Okay, so it goes, oh, this is so nice. Okay, so it has the whole year there. And here in this part, I was thinking of writing down the ideas that I um, have about what to share um, through the YouTube uh, channel. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and then it has this part at the back where you can write your name. Okay, and uh, just uh, two blank pages. Okay, it goes all the way to June 30 and then a spillover of July uh, 1st and 2nd. Okay, all right, that looks nice. 
And then you get this one for the second half of the year. It's a darker blue. Here it says uh, July to December 2023. Let's move that a bit. And again, you have the calendar for 2023-2024. And then you have the July to... Oh, this is so cool. So you have your July to, th July to December 2023. And then you have your January and February 2024. So you can have a little bit of um, advanced planning there. That's nice. Um, and then it uh, has a spill over from the previous one, the June one. So if you want to transfer, I guess you could. And you have your July. And it just goes on. I like this. This is, I think, good enough space for me to jot notes on what I do want to say. And apparently I want to say a lot. And towards the end, I just want to go through that. Um, there are just two blank pages. Oh, no. One, two, three, four blank pages after this first week of January that they've provided. And, of course, they have this part. So the plan right now is not to have this in my uh, notebook yet. So I'm just going to put that aside. And I will just have this part of it okay so i will have this which is my bullet journal i'll have the swatches because i like looking at colors i'll have that in the middle and then i most probably will have this towards the end let me just put that aside first okay so how do we put this um together there are different ways um what oh yes when i got the monthly uh, sorry the weekly planner um i also got this from the girl who sells it. it's a very nice little freebie she gave me okay um so let me put that away all right so how do we set it up right so you have these bands and the traveler's notebook actually wants you to uh, band these two together so the idea okay hold up give me a second the idea is to get this band and what you do is so I'll show you how they recommend you do that so I'm a little bit particular with these things um, all right that's nice okay so the idea is for you to sort of slide it in like that and then you get the other notebook that you want on the other end, okay? Um, and then you just want to slide it like that. This is the setup for a three notebook system. You can actually go for more, I think. Um, but three, I think, is plenty enough for me at this point. Okay, so you have this. I'm going to slide that all the way to the end. Okay. All right, and then you have then these two notebooks together. And what you want to do is you want to nicely, smoothly slide it in. So it's anchored like this. Okay, and you get the notebook that you want to have in the middle. You put it right there in the middle binding, which is exactly what we did here too. So the staples will be there. Okay, here too, staples will be there. Let me just show you if i can all right this is a bit fiddly okay that was the middle was it oh no it wasn't the middle oh no okay i don't really like do this because i'm always worried i will ruin the book i don't know what i was thinking okay there we go so we open it up right in the middle oh okay i kind of figure it out now it was a bit tricky to find the middle okay one second everyone this is a bit trickier than i thought okay that's where all the stitching is i realize now why i thought that was the middle because the um staple wire oh no okay there we go is not as visible okay, let me just smooth that out okay and so you have two notebooks you want to make sure it's a bit okay and then you want to get your third notebook and you just want to get this band that it came with and you're supposed to slide it through and now you have your 
three notebooks with you and you're supposed to have this band. Oh, yes. A nice little bookmark and then the band. Now, this is their recommended setup. When I set it up this way, I was a little bit worried about my middle notebook. Um, I tried to set it up with my other refills. Uh, now, yeah, you can see that bothered me. And so I went and I did a little research and I found another way to set it up so we don't have that overhang. So if I remember correctly, what you wanna do is that what you want to connect first so it's a bit sequential so let's put that aside what you want to connect first would be the notebook you'd like to have at the very front and then you get the notebook that you want to have in the middle and you connect those two together slide it in okay all right and then you get another band, okay? And you slide this second band through the notebook you wanna have in the middle. Okay, make sure again, it is nice and flat. Okay, I want to crease there. Okay, so you want that in the middle again and you want to take that third notebook that you want towards the end of your uh, journal and you slide that in connected now to the second refill. Okay, so it kind of looks like that, pretty good. And then again, you open it up here and what you want to do is you want to slide that middle through. So now it looks like this. I want to adjust a little so it just lays a bit flatter. Okay, I like to do that. Okay, so now if you close it, voila, no more overhang. So that for me is just perfect. Now, um, I've seen a lot of videos on customizing it. So the first thing I did do is get some blotter paper and I have these beautiful origami papers that I have stashed somewhere. I'm very much into crafting. Um, I thought the uh, colors really match and so I want to put one here, my ink swatches, and I want to put one here while I'll be writing my notes. Okay. Of course I want to match it a bit with the color, so that's good. And then of course I want to take my, uh oh, I want to take the cardboard that I have, right? And I also want to put it in as a sort of stabilizer and uh, I'll put it here with my monthly, uh, sorry, weekly. Why do I keep on saying monthly one? Okay, and just to tidy it up a bit, I'm just gonna put all of these together and here we go okay so i just want to put all of these together so i have my refills i have the pieces of paper i think i have more paper here yeah and a sticker all right so i just want to put all of these together and put it here in the pouch so they don't just go flying everywhere and then of course let me, ooh, let me go ahead and put this one in as well so I don't lose that. Okay, and then I just want to put all of these into this box. Okay, where apparently I have more paper. That's fine. Okay, it's a bit big now, but that's okay. It's a bit thick, I mean. Um, that's okay, though. Huh? All right. There we go. All right, so this one is where I have all the refills. This one, okay, I won't be using that. This one goes away too. Now, so I have this nice little um, setup with the notebooks. Then I have my underlays. Um, I think now would be a good time to lose the plastic too. 
Okay, look at this. Oh, I'm sometimes I'm a bit worried about rubbing off that nice gold oil. So I'm not sure if I want to keep the plastic or not. But it looks so nice. But with the matte finish, I think it'll hold better because I have had a few issues with it slipping out. So I'll put one here. Maybe I put both there. No, let me just put another one here. Second part. All right, so there it's a bit thick now, but I think it's just about the size I want it to be. All right, so um, I have that. And then I was thinking of getting a charm. I've been looking all over for a nice charm, maybe a camera. I've seen that, maybe a bear. Um, but I found that they were either out of stock or super expensive here. So what I did was I went through some of my old uh, jewelry because again, I love to craft and jewelry making is one of the things I like to do. And I found this nice little pendant that I've had with me for so many years. And I really like that. It has also this old vintage feel. And so I thought I would just add it as a charm. So how do you do that? You just pull this off. All right and then you add it in. Uh, so I need to sort of visualize this. And as I was looking at it, I thought I'd just make it hang, but then I thought, okay, maybe I can put it through the antenna. I mean, not the antenna, the space between the antenna and the body. So then it would look like this when I had it. And then I saw in one video how one girl was starting to get upset because the string was cutting through her notebooks and so what she did was she added a uh, like a tab she had a leather tab but i don't have a leather tab give me a second because um, we need a little bit of a needle for this okay so i have this old uh, tab from some holder I had and I really like the print. It's quite a fun Japanese sort of print. And so what she did was she just added it here, okay, um, to sort of uh, protect the paper and the notebooks from this string. So what you do is you get a tab and you sort of um, have some sort of opening. Okay, maybe we don't, oh yeah. So I have this needle. Again, I'm into craft, so I have all these things. And what you wanna do is you just wanna put it in. Make sure that the string is on top of the tab because that's what you wanna protect it from. And just pull it through. No big thing to that. Okay, let me find the end. All right. And so now you have this, and the idea is that it will go through this way. I don't know, I might change this, but right now I really like it. And I like the idea of putting together a journal that sort of uh, has, has little charms and things that really mean a lot to me. So, um, all right, so what you want to do is you just want to make sure that it's tied at the back. This one is fairly easy. So you get these two, okay? And you have it go through this, okay? Just through that hole right there, sort of pull it up and then you knot it, okay? Um, it's up to you how much you want to tighten it. You can also adjust it. Um, but I thought for me, this was sort of a good, um, good length to leave and then what you do of course is you pull it over you have that nice little charm and you have this nice little tab and it sort of holds it like that and it protects your journal from this string your refills and your journal from the string and so it just like holds it that way I thought it really worked well for me Okay, so um, just two more things that I added to this setup. I thought I needed to have some sort of clip because sometimes when you do write, you want to sort of like hold it down. I really didn't think I needed that. Um, but there are times that I realize I do. 
So I just got this from some stationary supply that I have, and so you can clip it like that. Traveler's Notebook does supply uh, a clip. Um, you can have it as an extra purchase, but for now, I don't know um, if I really want it because it does leave a mark and I don't want it leaving so much of a mark. So this, I just have it around. I don't even keep it with my journal. I also have this and this was funny. Um, I was in uh, the place I work in and I this little skeleton of a lizard fell on my shoulder. Um, and I liked it so much because it's so cool. Um, and again, in the spirit of keeping memories uh, a bit morbid, a bit dark, but I thought it was super uh, interesting to have it here too, to sort of just uh, remind me about things that, um, things that, things that are interesting do happen around us. So I keep that as my book marker. And so that's it uh, for my journal. You can have it there. It has a grid for my uh, bullet journal. It has a plain paper for my swatches and it has a weekly um, refill for my ideas. Of course, I want to match it with a lovely little pocket fountain pen. This one is from the Kaweco collection. It's in mellow blue. I'll do a review of this. Again, I got this through Tokopedia from another really good shop. Okay, so that is basically the setup of my traveler's notebook in passport size. Now that things are really happening here, it has most of the things that I want. I feel like I can uh, start really using this and I think it's lovely because coming 2023, I do have a lot of ideas that I'd like to share. I do hope to develop this channel. I want to share as much as I can through this journey because I love doing these things. Um, so if there are any questions, if you're a beginner like me and there are things that you want to explore um, and you want them to ex you want to explore them with me, come and uh, tell me, leave me a comment below. And uh, please do remember to join me for the ride and subscribe so that uh, you can get notifications too whenever I put up a new um, review or a new guide through. Uh, I have so many things I do want to share and I hope you enjoy how I share them. Okay, so for those of you who are going to get their traveler's notebook, happy traveling. And for those of you who are thinking about, about it, I hope this sort of helped you a bit with your decision. Okay. So thank you and all right, I'll be seeing you. This is Kai. Have a good day, everyone.